boy has time really changed it gets worse I promise these days we devote so much time to technology we upgrade to the newest Android every six months we update our OS from Windows 7 to Windows 10 But you know one thing? We fail to upgrade our minds with positive books, our bodies with relaxation. If you look at the big picture, you and I are still running on the same OS we started with, Windows 98. Same processor, except it needs an upgrade. Take a look at the word busy. You got a minute? If you remove the B and the Y, you're left with the word us. Now, how about taking care of us? Our mind, our body, our soul. Try this for an upgrade. A trip to the library. It wouldn't hurt except it might make you feel a little wiser. A class on first aid wouldn't hurt, but it might make you feel like a survivor. Some of you spend so much time on your phones, but you don't have a clue on how to use it. You don't even look at the manual anymore. Some of you just keep saying, I just don't have time for anybody anymore. I'm a doctor. I got lives to save. I'm an engineer. I got cities to be built. And then there are those who have lost all hope and start saying, I just don't have time to practice my fate anymore. If Arjun can remember Lord Krishna on the battlefield, your excuses will only hold so long. The only difference between you and successful people is that they use their time wisely. Oprah Winfrey, Warren Buffett, Ted Turner. What do they have that you don't have? Besides the fame, the fortune, they know how to value their time wisely. They start their day at 4 o'clock in the morning. They start their day at 4 o'clock in the morning, which gives them a head start. They're no different than you and I. They just know how to take care of business. They know how to set their priority in life. Goals, desires, dreams. As you keep hitting the snooze button, going back to sleep, they're making their next milestone. History in the making, baby.